it's the it's the best seat in the house. I am a squash fan because I feel that I was once a player. I experienced what it was like to be refereed. I felt that um, I had something to offer as a referee and, and be empathetic to the players on the squash court. So I felt that if, if I uh, was able to learn the rules and apply the rules um, in the right way um, and deliver it in the right way, um, it would, um, I would be able to encourage and, and, and enable players to play a match, you know, a fantastic match, and which is what we're all, all passionate and want is, is a, a fantastic spectacle and that's what squash is. is I just saw it as a, an opportunity One, now that my playing career was coming to an end it was a, an opportunity for me to keep involved in the game. Quite often with a beer in hand you'd be marking your mates after a match and I got into it that way. Um, uh, I, was, I was of a decent standard so it would be Premier League or, or Division 1 county, county standard and um, that's how I got into it. Um, I was, the club I was at at the time was a Bishop Stortford squash club and there was a guy there called William Winter who was one of the uh, uh, members of the club and he was actually a world grade referee and um, he took me to one side one, uh, one time and said would you like giving it a go, being a, a referee um, at uh, one of these events? I hadn't really considered it or thought about it um, um, because being a player uh, and looking up at the referee, they were, in all intents and purposes, at these serious events, they were, they were the enemy. You know, they were, they were, the, um, they were the ones that uh, were making decisions that you didn't particularly like. So, um, so yeah, I, I said, yeah, I, I, I can give it a go. So I did a, a rules call, a course, um, and I was invited to a national league match down at Connaught Squash Club. Um, and uh, uh, a lady organising that, Sue Woodhouse, who was here earlier on this week, um, uh, was uh, kindly made me feel very welcome at the club, uh, along with other refs, Jill Wood, Dean Clayton, and William and uh, refereed um, my first match there and uh, from then on in I got invited back um, uh, and uh, it was um, that was sort of my introduction to it. Once, um, once I did that I then was asked to do some um, bigger events, some junior events and um, I started going to the British Junior Open which was at the time being held in Sheffield, uh, British Junior Champs uh, national championships in the early rounds um, and um, uh, started traveling the country that way just cutting my teeth at those sort of events. British Junior Open was a fantastic introduction to refereeing. Days start at nine o'clock in the morning and sometimes the days finish after nine o'clock at night and you've got four or five days on the trot. The camaraderie that you have with other referees is great. You build up um, a lot of friendships uh, as a result of it, and trust and, and experience, you, you know, you learn from the other referees, um, and you also uh, have the opportunity to um, teach and introduce or, or reaffirm the rules to the the young the young players, so that uh, they come through and they they get to know um, or get experience of being refereed um, uh, properly. You know, Proper refereeing. So, so I, 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 I um, progressed through that, and uh, um, as a result of that, I got invited to more events. And in actual fact, I got invited to the Canary Wharf event for the very first time it was held here, uh, when it was a tri trial event, um, and um, I was one of four referees that was invited to do the early rounds here. Um, so. That was a, you know, this venue here is amazing. It was a fantastic experience. Um, I don't think I'd ever been to Canary Wharf ever before until I, until I got here. Um, so the venue in itself just blows you away. Uh, the crowd here is just another experience uh, to, to, to have, to learn how to handle, how to be, how to project yourself, but also how to handle being in amongst a crowd of, that um, are very loud and passionate about the game. 
you know, you mark in a match or referee in a match and quite often there's about 40 or 50 other referees in, all in the crowd offering you the, uh, their, their, their decision or tips on how they would have dealt with it. So the difficulty comes is when a player, um, you give a decision, it's easy to make a decision, there's three to choose from, uh, but the problems arise when someone says, why? Or what's, what's that for? Um, and then that's when you need the skills to be able to let them know your reasons why and, um, and how you're interpreting um, um, what's, just, what's just happened and explaining to them what you've seen and how you'd like the problem to be resolved. Um, there are times, sometimes it becomes quite challenging when some players don't accept the decision and it's fortunate we have a code of conduct which we can use to deal with uh, that, which unfortunately I've had to use in the past. It's not a nice thing, don't, don't enjoy that part of it at all, but there comes a time sometimes when someone confronts or challenges you with their behaviour and, and, and you, have, you have to deal with it. Um, so that's hard, that's, that's challenging. So I, I was invited to that and then, and then I got um, started um, doing a few events on the European Tour, European uh, team championships and club championships um, and uh, I eventually got a grade, uh, was promoted up to an international grade. Um, uh, so that process probably took me about uh, seven or eight years to get to that stage. Um, I, my first event I got invited to was the World Open in Bermuda. Um, my wife at the time said, um, I've never been to Bermuda and you're not going without me. So I had to decline that, unfortunately. Um, the, um, the next event was, um, I got invited to was, um, was Hong Kong. And um, she said, I've been to Hong Kong, you can go to Hong Kong. So that was in 2008 and I went to Hong Kong for the Hong Kong Open. Um, and um, uh, uh, fantastic event, great experience, you know, going to a place like Hong Kong. Um, I um, met other referees from other countries um, and got to know them, forged um, friendships to, and still, still to this day in contact with those, uh, those sort of people uh, that I met there. Um, I ended up refereeing a semi-final between Thierry Longcou and Gregory Gaultier. Uh, which uh, Greg won and then he went on to play uh, Shabana in the final um, and it was a fantastic experience for me. That, that, and that final was played in a, in a shopping mall in, in, in Hong Kong. Um, so yeah, I was, I was really lucky um, and um, had a uh, great time.